Okay, now that our aliens are distributed on the stage, you can see still this one is a little bit too far almost off screen there, but they're distributed off stage. Now we need to move them. Our hero can move, right? If I click here, hero can move with the arrows on the keyboard, but the aliens are not chasing after him. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And to do that, I'm going to go back to my game. I've got the game on keyframe, right, where we have the code for the game. I'm opening up my actions window. If you can't get to your actions window, it's window and then actions or F9. And what I'm going to do is, is remember in the init function, I've got an alien move clock set to number 220, right? So a variable called alien move clock set to 220. Well, I'm going to go down in this init function, this initialization function, and you can see where at the bottom the create aliens function was called. So what I'm going to do is right below that, I'm going to make this say move alien interval. And I've got a capital A here and a capital I here. And I'm basically it's declaring, uh, I'm declaring it uh, this on the fly. And I'll say this equals a set interval command. And that has to be a capital I there. Notice how it turned blue. Set interval command. And in the set interval command, you can see when I when I do that, I've got to give it the function that I want to be called, and then the interval, right? So to do that, I'll say the function we're going to call is move aliens, right? Which um, I don't I haven't written yet, but we're going to have to write that function. And then for the interval, I'm going to say alien move clock. So every 220 ticks, right, or every um, 220, you know, milliseconds, right, or subseconds, um, they'll move, right, a thousandth of a second. I forget exactly what it's set to, but that'll that's right now set to 220, and then we can adjust that, the alien move clock, as necessary, and if we do, then it'll call this function more often, right? So uh, move alien interval equals set interval command move aliens is going to be the function that's called notice it doesn't need to have an open and closed parentheses here just we can call it just like that um, and now we have to write that function so I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of my code below the create aliens function that we wrote okay and I'm going to write a new function so down here I'll say function move aliens okay and then a close curly brace so that's open and close parentheses an open curly brace and then a close curly brace down here and then right in here we'll write our move alien um, code right now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to target all of our aliens right well that's gonna be easy because when we created these aliens, we put all of the aliens into the alien array. And so that's how we'll talk to each alien in the array and then move them one at a time. Okay, so function move aliens. So what I'm going to do is inside this function, I'm going to write a for loop. So that's open and close parentheses, open curly brace, two lines down, and close curly brace. And what I'm going to say is, I'll say for the increment variable, I'm going to say k, and we'll start with 1. k equals 1, semicolon, and we'll say as long as k is less than or equal to alien array dot length. Now that's the length, how many aliens are in the alien array, right? So, and if we wanted to test that out, we could, um, if we don't know, for instance, what the answer to this is, well, I'll show you how we'll deal with that in a second. Then I'm going to do a semicolon, and then I'll say k plus plus, increment k. So k will start with 1, and then it'll go up to 2, three, four, five. Now this is the loop. 
Now what I'll do is, is I'll just comment this out right now. And I'll say, let's test this out. Trace. Hello. Okay, so if this is working, we should get a message to our output window as hello. Now this function move aliens needs to be called according to this it's going to be called on this interval right it's going to be called according to the alien move clock every 220 ticks so I'll hit control enter click here to begin right and I'm here I am you don't see anything but look over here in my output window there's hello right so you can see that that function is actually getting called right okay so now that the functions getting called what I could do is I'll go down to that function and I'll, if I if I need to know something if I need to test something out I can just trace it to the output window so I'll say trace let's try to trace alien array dot length see if we can trace that out all right right 14 right so the alien array is coming back as 14 well guess how many aliens there are on the stage 14 so we know that's working so this is kind of nice way to test things out so I'll comment that out bring back my for loop all right so now we know that it's um, that the alien array length is 14 that's exactly the number of aliens we have so we're great so we'll say if on the next line inside of our for loop I'm gonna say if aliens and then I'll do a, a bracket here okay so if aliens and then in the bracket I'll say the string alien to target are individual aliens which are targeted by numbers alien 1 alien 2 alien 3 so I say plus K right so that's gonna be look in the aliens movie clip and then inside the aliens movie clip look for alien 1 right and I'm gonna target their dot underscore X position and I'll say if it's less than the hero dot underscore X position right so if the um, aliens X position is less than the heroes X position then I've got to do an open curly brace right and then a go two lines down and a close curly brace right then if that's true now we'll take this right Let's say copy paste then aliens alien K X position right and we'll say plus equal alien speed alien speed now um, what is the alien speed we'll have to go back up here and take a look do we have alien speed set? Yes, we've set it to 6. So, we've said if the alien plus K, so alien 1, alien 2, alien 3, is less than the hero's X position, move the alien on the X axis according to the alien speed. So now we'll test it out. Click here to begin, and you'll see that the aliens that are less than on the X axis are now moving right. Okay, notice how they stop as soon as their X position is lined up with the hero's X position. So that's working out pretty nicely.